Mustelidae is the largest family in order Carnivora, and its extant species are divided into eight subfamilies. All the members of this family are known as must lids. These include ferret, marten, mink, stoat, wolverine, otter, badger and so on. These carnivores vary in sizes, shapes, behaviors, food habits and, their range includes all continents except Antarctica. This playlist will brief all eight subfamilies of Mustelidae containing 23 genera and 63 species. Okay, if you are ready, without further ado, let's dive in. The first subfamily we'll cover is Guloninae. It consists of four genera and 11 species. Genus number one, Era. This genus has only one species, Tyra. Tyra or Era barbara is native to Central and South America. They have slender body covered in dark brown fur. All Terras have a heart-shaped patch on their chest which is a unique trademark. They are currently least concerned. Genus number 2, Gulo. This genus also contains only one species, Gulo Gulo or Wolverine. They are the largest land-dwelling must lid, and live mostly along northern Canada, northern Europe and Siberia. Wolverines are also known as Gluten, or Carcaju. These creatures are famous for their strength, and have been recorded to kill adult deers, lynx, and even black bears. Genus number 3 from Guloninae is Martes, and it's a large one. This genus contains 8 species, all of which are known as Martin. Of all 8 Martin species, Nilgiri Martin is the largest being over 100 centimeters from head to tail. This beautiful creatures are currently vulnerable and less than 1,000 individuals are available in wild. Nilgiri martens live only in small pockets of western ghats, especially Nilgiri Hill, hence the name. Yellow-throated marten is arguably the most ferocious of the eight. Their territory stretches from India, Southeast Asia to Korea. They have yellowish fur in their throat and chest, from which the name comes from. Yellow-throated martens are agile and preys on a variety of animals, including mice, hares, birds and fawns. They are recorded hunting down even adult musk deer, muntjac, goral and monkeys. Sable is comparatively smaller, and inhabits northeast part of Russia and Japan. Sables are famous for their high-quality fur in fur business. Luxurious clothings made with sable fur are highly demanded since Middle Ages. It's a miracle that this species hasn't gone extinct yet. American Pine Martin's territory includes all of Canada and Alaska. They have a long, slender body and fur is generally bright brown in color. Once hunted to almost extinction for fur trade, this species has bounced back. Pacific Martin shares same space with their American brothers and resembles almost same characteristics. They are hunted down by fishers, birds of prey, coyotes and bobcats. European Pine Martin or Martes Martes is somewhat similar with their American counterpart. They cover a large area including almost all of Europe and a large portion of Middle East. They feed primary on squirrels and other rodents. Beach Martin or House Martin can be seen as a little brother of European Pine Martin. They live in the same territory and looks quite similar in shape. What differs these two species is that European ones depend heavily on meat, while Beach Martin prefer fruits and insects. The white chest is also special in this species. The last of eight, Japanese Martin is probably the cutest one. They thrive in the boreal forests of Japan. Japanese hares are their prime food source beside various fruits and insects. Genus number 4 Picania contains one species, the fisher, or fisher cat. Although they are neither a fisher nor a cat, they don't eat fish that much, rather depend largely on snowshoe hare and porcupine. Fisher is available in North America, overlapping with American pine martens territory. Being larger and stronger, they occasionally hunt American martens, and were also recorded killing raccoon and Canada lynx. This video deals with all four genera of Guloni Ne subfamily from Mustelli Day. Subfamily Helictidi Ne and Icto Nichi Ne are coming next. Please like and subscribe for more informative wildlife videos. And thank you for being with us in this amazing journey.